Kimberly from Cyprus has a question about AC sizing. Yeah, she's got a 3,000 square foot home and has come to the expert. She writes, we're building a two-story home. It's about 3, 30, oh, 3,400 square feet. And wow. she says, the front of the house faces south and there are 20-foot ceilings in the foyer, the dining room, the kitchen, the living room. The second story has a good-sized game room, media room, and all that. The builder has allotted one five-ton unit for the whole house. And okay. we're concerned that this will not adequately cool the house during Houston summers. I see you shaking your head. I'm just not even going to finish the question. Go ahead. <laughs> First off, I have uh, let's let's take my house for example. I have a twenty seven hundred square foot home, two story. I don't have twenty foot ceilings. I do have a big foyer as you enter enter the house, but it's still a, a fairly small house. I have three tons downstairs and four tons upstairs. That's seven. And right now, I would tell you if it's a two story home, you need two air conditioning systems, no doubt. Charlie, you got a big house. I'm not sure how many systems you have. But upstairs needs to be controlled differently, you have three, okay, than downstairs. You just know that's the way it is. Uh, so we're looking at two systems to start off with. We isolate the upstairs and we isolate the downstairs. We'd still have the big ceilings. So I'm probably looking at a house that's 3,400 square feet with high ceilings. I have eight-foot ceilings. I have a house built in the 70s. But you have 10-foot ceilings just through the house and you have big tall ones in the foyers, the, the, the rooms going upstairs and stuff, you're probably looking and I can only guesstimate right now at least four down and, or, or uh, three down and four up. You want a little more up because that's where the heat load is. I don't care about the front facing. I care about upstairs, downstairs. The upstairs actually insulates the downstairs a little bit and that way you don't need quite as much tonnage even if it's the same square footage. But you can go back to the old uh, adage that I always said, Every 500 square feet, you need one ton. And if you think about 3,400, let's say 35 and round it off, how many are you looking at? You're looking at five, six, six seven. seven, eight tons, yeah. right? Yeah, so, so minimum eight tons, but I don't know how to separate it. That's where you have to get a really good contractor in, like Absolute Comfort Air, if you want me to throw them in there, but, <laughs> you know, and they will size it right. But I bet you're looking at seven to eight tons easily. Mm. So... Um... If she's working with a builder and he's got a plan, what what's uh, how does she address that? I don't know. They tend to do what they want to do, and he's saving money in five tons. They can get in that computer. They can do the manual, J. They can manipulate those numbers all they want. But I will tell you this, Charlie and uh, Kimberly, if you do the five ton, you will be calling my show in about a year or so saying, I set my thermostat at 78 and won't stop running and it's only 82. How many times have I gotten those questions, Charlie? 33 years of this stuff. We get I, them the way, every it, August. Yeah, the way I look at it, Tom, these builders are really job security for us. Uh, okay, I was a builder, <laughs> so I want to say this. There are some really good builders out there. there. And there are guys that are money managers that aren't builders. They just manage the contractors and try to squeeze every penny they can get out of the project. And that goes with any business, I guess, cars or anything else. So I'm not going to just badmouth them. But there are good people out there that really know what they're doing. And right now, those guys are going, Tom, it's too small. Tom, I'm gonna... <laughs> they need more air conditioning. Right. And you know how many air conditioning contractors are going, really, 3,400 square foot, two stories, and 20 foot ceilings they're putting a five ton in one are they nuts <laughs> one that's one. the thing well that's the largest you can get with one unit yeah but i'm just saying they're, they're, they're doing to... one unit yeah. for two stories like that i don't see how and that a, works and that's a big house so it's got to be a nice house you right. know it's you know 3400 square feet it's a big beautiful dream house for them well i think that she needs to talk to the builder then huh see if she can work it out <laughs> the builder i don't know sure of course talk to the builder yes i mean if it's a production builder Maybe not. But can you oh. imagine you hired a builder? Can you imagine you hired a doctor? Can you imagine you hired a CPA and you have to tell them what to do? You've never <laughs> met my wife. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not. I said nothing. Your life is lovely. That's just, she's she's anyway. very nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. She, I think she actually likes me. So I, I'm think, not, it, it, I don't it, have it, many people. It's that true do. of every happy marriage. It's like Zig Ziglar used to say. You know, when we got married, I we agreed that I'd make the major decisions and she'd make the minor decisions. And in the eight years we've been married, it's amazing how few major decisions there have been. Now wait a minute. You've been married eight years. Coming up. 
Yep. Wow. I know. Time flies when you're having fun. The and other day I found out I was married 18 years and I didn't even know it. <laughs> unbelievable. And well, you know, and these videos go by pretty quick, too. You want to get your question on one? Just visit homeshowradio.com and uh, fill out that Ask Tom form and send it to us. We'll answer it like this and we kibitz around with it. And uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, wish you would go on over there and click the subscribe button. And uh, that way you'll be notified Ding. when we post a new video. Oh, Charlie, I was just told it's 19 years. <laughs> 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 Always trust the wife's math. <laughs>